That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. Hello everybody, my name is James and welcome to Resident Evil. Um, it's been a while since I played this actually, but uh, I've done a lot of challenge runs uh, for this game. This time we're going to be doing a speedrun challenge. Uh, and the time to beat for this speedrun challenge is 1 hour 56 minutes and 24 seconds. Now, in that time... Uh, I played uh, as Jill on standard mode, so the aim is to do uh, just that. I'll play as Jill on standard mode, and I'll try and beat that time. Okay. Which the good news with that is we have even more wacky adventures with fucking Jill and Barry. How brilliant is that? So let's get going. Yeah, we've seen the opening. It's weird because you can skip the opening cutscene, but after that you can't skip the other cutscenes. It's really strange. I mean, hopefully one day there'll be a a remaster. What is this? Wow. What a mansion. Like a remaster trilogy of one, two and three. And then you can have, like, skip cutscenes and door skips. It would be Captain great. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? Stop it. Don't open that door. But Chris is... What is it? Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going with you. Chris is our old partner, you know. Okay. Let me handle this. Stay alert! I know Wesker's like a traitor and all, but wouldn't it be wise if he just suggested, why don't we all just go? <laughs> you know what I mean? A dining room. But Barry and Jill don't even question it. It's like, wait, hang on, split up. We're in this gigantic ass mansion. What? What is this? We know there's monsters about, and yet... What is it? You want us to Blood. split up? Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Hope this is not Chris's blood. Hope this is not Chris's blood. I hope it isn't. I doubt it is, though. It was probably Kenneth's. Most likely. Barry, help! Barry? What is it? Watch out! It's a monster! Let me take care of this. What is it? Kenneth was killed too. Maybe by this creature. Anyway, let's report this to Wesker. Let's. We have no time to lose. Come on, Barry. Let's go. If they were to do a re-remake of this game though, it would be nice to if we can play as Barry and have a Barry scenario. Wesker! Help me look for him, Jill. And don't leave this hall for the time being. Maybe have um, a bigger scenario with Rebecca as well. Would be cool. Find anything, Jill? Nothing. What is this all about? I can't figure it out at all. Beats me too. 
Now it's Wesker's time to disappear. I don't know what's going on. Well, it can't be helped. Let's search for him separately. I'll check the dining room again. Okay, I'll try the door on the opposite side. This mansion is gigantic. We could get into trouble if we get lost. We should start from the first floor, okay? And... Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. Thanks. Maybe I'll need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. This time, I'll be there. I mean, something massive would have to happen for you to both notice, one, what's happened, and then two, for both of you to get back into the hall. Right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and get the chemical. Oh my god, it is dogs. I don't know what's more scary, the dogs or the wallpaper. Quite a tough decision, that one. Uh, but while we're here, we'll uh, stop by and pick up the shotgun. That should help us. So we can pick up some shit. We want all the shit. Give us the shotgun. And then equip it. Oh yeah. Probably not going to use the pistol very much. Probably only use it as a last resort. It's literally all I've got left. Oh no! Help me, Barry! Shoot the ceiling! Nah, that's stupid. That would never work. What do I do? Run in the corner! Hey! What's going on? Jill? Is that you, Jill? What happened? Perry? Help me, please. The door won't open. Quick! Stay away from the door, Jill. I'm gonna kick this door down. Hurry! This way! That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. <laughs> You're right. Barry, thanks for saving my life. But Barry, didn't you say you are going back to the dining room to do some research? Why on earth are you here? Uh, I just had something I wanted to check. Now, let's get back to searching for the lost captain and Chris, shall we? Thank you, Barry. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Barry, what a legend. It was nice to see that you could finally play as Barry in a Resident Evil game, and uh, I don't mean Resident Evil Gaiden. <laughs> I mean Resident Evil Revelations too. And there's a lot of fan service in that game, and it's it's a lot of fun. Playing as Barry is just awesome. And he's just basically quoting uh, all his lines from the first game for the most part. It's like Barry talks to his daughter and Moira and he, he's like, I'll always need you Moira, but for now, 
I have this. <laughs> it's fucking Magnum. Okay. I don't think I'll need the knife. Let's pop them away. It's a chemical that says Earth on it. Earth. Right now, next thing to do is to just literally go to the other side. Can pick up that grenade launcher on the way, actually. Well, I don't have to pick up immediately, I suppose, but it's something to do. Headshot! You unlocked it. So yeah, it's really good starting from the bottom and then getting to the top. It helps out in um, unlocking doors. Okay, another zombie down. Oh. oh shit. Okay, ran into that. How you doing, Jill? Bloody hell. Have a heal. That was silly of me. <laughs> that was a bit careless. Barry! Jill, what's going on? Any clues? No, but something's wrong with this house. Whoa. This hall is dangerous. Maybe it's better to secure our escape route first. There must be a back door somewhere. Let's try to find it first, shall we? Okay. Whoa. Let's separate again. Just a moment. I found something. What is it? It's a weapon. It's really powerful, especially against living things. Better take it with you. But how about you, Barry? I have this. Thank you. I'll take this then. I have this. You certainly do, Barry. You certainly fucking do. Adios. Till the next time, Barry. Until the next time. Let's go get that grenade launcher then. Our props won't pick up the magnum. I feel like with Jill, if you've got the shotgun and the grenade launcher, then that's usually enough bullets if you pick enough up. So let's do that. But she gotta go out of your way a little bit to get the magnum. You have to get the jewel and then put the jewel in the tiger statue. So it takes a bit of time. Okay. Alright, next thing is to move the statue. Oh yeah, I didn't say what the rules are according to this. Um, the speed run in which I complete the time in, uh, I got the best ending for it, saving uh, Barry and Chris. So, for this speed run, I will need to do the same. I need to collect the three ammo discs to save Chris and make sure Barry is alive as well. Those are the terms and conditions. So, re ammo discs, save Barry, fight the tyrant at the helipad. Pretty much. These are easy to go past. Um, I'll say that, I've just been puked on. But, for some reason, they don't grab you in this area, they just throw up on you. So, it's much easier to get past. Ok, 
Okay. And now we can put some bits and bobs away. Let's start off with putting these away. Okay. Let's get moving. It's locked, a carving of armor. Okay. Very well. Leave me alone. We know where the armor key is though, it's in here. Okay. Chemical straight in. Hey presto, they turn red and die. Yay! I mean, who had a fucking mutated plant growing in this mansion? It's a very strange thing to have. And very strange. Okay, two lots of red herbs. We'll get two lots of green while we're here. Be good to just top upon some health items. Like so. There we are. You take the mansion key? Yes. Yes, I will. More specifically, the armor key! Okay. Oh. F you. Okay, now I'm a bit low on shotgun shells, so it's probably best if I go in here and pick some up. I've literally got one shell left, so... And that one shell will be used on this guy. Bye. All right. Reload. Okay. Jail is locked and loaded. Ready to save the day. Okay. Now, normally, in the speedrun I did, I actually went to, like, swap the emblems around and get the key to see the snake. Uh, the helmet key. But I'm actually not going to do that immediately because I had to um, wait a little bit for Richard to like die and eventually it took too long I had to go and uh, pick up the serum so I'm going to see Richard first before I do anything else so by the time I go back to him he should be dead and be able to proceed because you can't go and fight the snake unless either Richard is well well, Richard dies either way, I, until either you get the serum for Richard and then he dies, or you take too long and Richard dies, so. Either way, it sucks to be Richard in the original game. <laughs> and in the remake too, to be honest. Because just when you thought you saved Richard, no, he does die. Richard! What happened? 
Jill, this house is dangerous. There are terrible demons. Ouch! You're wounded. What kind of demon attacked you? It was a huge snake and also poisonous. Ugh. Poisonous? Oh, no. Richard, hold on. There is serum. Oh, no. I should have brought some with me. No problem. I'll go and get it. Thanks. Yeah, well, I know. Let's go and get it. Oh, wait, I'm busy. Sorry. <laughs> kind of busy, Richard. Soz. Got things to do. I've got to start picking up some crests. Uh, why am I going around this way? Whatever, okay. Wasted a bit of time going round. It will have to do, though, it will have to do. Damn, look at the 90s carpet. <laughs> No wonder they changed the uh, fucking decorations in the remake. Oh, come on, Jill. Where are you going? Are you drunk? Controls are a bit sensitive with the analog stick in Resident Evil. It can, like, wave around the place. Time to get the first crest of the four. Uh, obviously, crests aren't necessary in the remake, unless if you want to mag them. Alright. One down, free to go. And obviously, no, we know that the snake will have one. The snake will have one, and then there is one uh, in the room that's with knights, and that's full of gas. And the last one will be in the gallery. And we can get the F out of here until we come back later in the game and there'll be hunters. Stop. Don't run into the piano for God's sake, Jill. You have one job. Alright, let's hear some Moon Knight Sonata. Let's do it. It's Moonlight Sonata. Sure is. Okay. Alright. Now we do the old switcheroo. Oh my god, we are locked in and we are trapped forever. <laughs> uh, right. Yes, we want the uh, gold emblem. I'll just lower if, like, Jill just, like, took the gold emblem out and then just threw both emblems right as the wall was closing in and then she's trapped in there, like, trapped in there for good. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. Give me that fucking key. Dong. Dong. Okay. Give it to me. One helmet key. Give it to me. Let's pay the snake visit. I'm sure the snake will be pleased to see me. Now, it's really hard to actually dodge the snake um, in the original. You can easily get stuck. Um, when I did it in the speed run, he did hit me, uh, but I got out. But it did mean that I collapsed and I ended up back, like, uh, in the save room. Which means I had to do a... Uh, which means I lost a bit of time. Which had to make your way through the mansion to get out. But it's... Um, it's best if you uh, don't get hit. I'll take these just in case, because if I really get stuck then... I don't want to end up in trouble. Mind you, Richard is still probably alive. Let's see, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, he's still alive. Okay, well. That's fine, because we uh, can pick up another crest in the meantime. That'll be the one in here. Because Richard might end up still being alive by the time I'm done here. I hope not. We don't have all the time in the world. Okay. And that's literally all you have to do. There's a switch. Will you push it? Yes, please. I'll pick it up. Well, ain't that a bitch? How about now? Yay! I have the sun crest. I have the sun crest. Okay. Well, if he is still alive, I'll go on a. A little detour and pick some more stuff up. That's only if he's still alive. Damn, he's uh, one tough son of a bitch. Okie Okie dokie, deadly pokey. I can go and drop some things off then. I'll uh, drop off uh, the herbs. Wah, wah, wah. Well, I suppose I could do the crest while I'm here as well. Not a bad idea, actually. Uh, can put them away. Okay. So yeah, why not? Let's get the uh, crest. Do need to do it eventually, so it's not that far out of the way. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, I'll equip that. Right, so we need... Picture of a newborn baby. Let's press the switch. Now we need the infant. Yep. Then we need a, a picture of a lively boy. Yep. And then we need a picture of a young man. Yep. Then we need a tired, middle-aged man. That's it. And then finally, the bold-looking old man. <laughs> there we go. From cradle to grave. Ta-da! I don't know what triggers the crows, really. It's like, I don't know, for some reason the crows just go berserk if you get the puzzle wrong and like, oh my god, this bitch got it wrong, kill her. It's like, weird as shit. <laughs> it's weird as balls. God, it's full of zombies in that room. It's such a small room, there's a couple of zombies in there. Uh, okay. Wah, wah, wah. Now, I get this feeling that Richard is still alive, so... I want to go see what's down here. You have used the mansion key. Now I know there's some health in here, so I'll go and pick that up. And there's a ladder too, but I won't pick that up. Oh no, don't want a clip. Fuck the clip. I'll take the red herb though. The red herb is mine! Ta-da! Now I know on the other side, because I picked up before some grenade rounds, so we'll pick them up. That'll be a nice little treat. Press the switch. Okay. Yeah. It's nice to see a, a fish tank that's full of water and literally nothing else. No fish, nothing. <laughs> Some cool shit, guys. We got some cool shit. Now, surely, surely, Richard is dead, right? <laughs> like, come on. I spent so much time, I literally had the time to get the key and get two other crests, as well as picking up some bullets and some extra health as well. Like, how much more time is it going to take for Richard to die? Oh my god, he's still alive. Be careful! Ah, uh, you're just a pain in this fucking backside, aren't you, Richard? You'll probably be dead by the time I pick up the serum, too. I better go and get it, because... Fuck knows how long it takes, but the game must be like very generous in time. Like very generous. 
What are the odds of him being dead when I come back, I wonder? I wonder... Well, at least I'll be able to tidy up my inventory a bit. Uh, I forgot about you. I don't really want to go around you. So. Have a shotgun blast. Shotgun blast to the face. Throw up on me. Okay. It's probably best to save on this point, to be honest. Better to be safe than sorry. I did only two saves in the speed run, but the pressure isn't really on <laughs> at the time, so. Whereas now it's like. I feel the pressure, and it's like, I better save at this point. I'll probably save like five or six times. Okay, I don't need that anymore. I can pull that away for now. There's the inky, inky ink ribbon. The ink ribbon of dreams. Will you use the ink ribbon? Yes, I will. Memory card one. Not that it really matters because I'm playing it on PS5. I miss the days of having a memory card and a, just a PlayStation 1 and playing the classic games. Obviously I'm playing a classic game now, but... I know a lot of people's favourite console is the PS2, but for me it was the PS1. And I think the PS1 games have aged better than PS2 games, because... At the time PS2 games looked great, but like... Now they just look really blurry as hell, and you can really tell. Whereas at least with PS1 games, there's sort of an art style to it, and it doesn't look blurry. Um, it's pixelated, sure, but it doesn't look like an eyesore. Mind you, that wallpaper's an eyesore. Green wallpaper. Oh, I didn't pick up the serum, did I? <laughs> okay, well... We'll see if Richard... Um, is dead or not, I suppose. Be a bit of a time waste, though. I'll have to go back and forward again. Come on, Richard. Just let go. Yeah, he's dead. Right. <laughs> I've never been so happy to see Richard dead. I'm sorry, dude. I did call it, though, didn't I? I thought, if I go and get the serum, by the time I get back, he'll be dead anyway. And he was, so. But yeah. at least we saved. Because this bit can be, can be brutal. I have died at this part. If you get stuck and you can't get out, then you can easily die here, so... It's probably for the best. No point in finding a snake the first time whatsoever, you're just wasting bullets. You don't get rewarded for killing it. Or, well, making it run away. Oh, come on, move your fucking tail. Oh, great, the snake's right in there. Might have a tough time getting out. Move! I've been bitten. Okay. Oh, shotgun shells. I'll get that. Poison? Yeah. It's a shame because he only bit me the one time, but. That means I'll go all the way back to the fucking safe room. Am 
I poisoned? Give me the serum. Give me serum. Give me the serum, baby. Oh my god, it's Barry. I mean, it could be Wesker, but why the fuck would it be Wesker? And Jill suggests that it's Barry. Or she thinks it's Barry, anyway. Jill, you're okay. Stop pretending to sleep, though, because I know with your character, your eyes don't close. <laughs> it's funny in the Metal Gear Solid uh, game. Barry? Barry? In Metal Gear Solid, they don't have eyes at all, the characters. They just have dents in them. It's really weird. <laughs> it works, though. Uh, okay. Right, I don't think there's anything we need. We can just get out of here now. Uh, we'll just go up. Uh, just make our way out of here then. On our way to the guardhouse. To the guardhouse. In the middle of the mountain's guard house. In the middle of our clay guard house. <laughs> I like the diamond shaped doors. Interesting design. I mean, I've seen diamonds on doors, but made of wood? No. I've seen, like, doors with glass windows with diamonds in them. It's so weird and all. A fucking green door. Like it's indoors. Very weird. Oh yeah, we're gonna have a zombie to deal with, aren't we? Best put the shotgun on. For this bit, and... One shotgun shell only. Best thing about this game? Shooting zombies' heads off. Whoever's idea was that... Fucking genius. <laughs> like it never gets old. Absolutely love it. Hey. Okay. Actually think there's a dog? Yeah. There's a zombie dog. It's just a zombie dog. A little zombie dog. A hungry zombie dog. Hungry for your flesh. All right, we're done here. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, we need to push this a little bit. Oh, for God's sake, Jill, come on, you can go round. If you can't go through that little gap, go round. God's sake. Okay, we have the crank. Which means it is time to use the crank and then rotate it until the waterfall appears and the water drains. Once that is done, we can go to the guardhouse. Guardhouse. I actually looked up at the uh, Metal Gear Solid Master Collection, Volume 1 that's coming out. 
Um, it's got a lot of content in it, a lot of digital soundtracks and uh, Metal Gear Solid 1, 2 and 3 on it obviously, but there's also games like Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake and um, it's got Snake's Revenge on there as well and the NES version of um, Metal Gear, which those two I haven't played. Uh, NES Metal Gear and uh, Snake's Revenge. I've never played them, so I'd like to give that a go when the uh, Master Collection comes out. Okay. What the hell? I can hear that waterfall. I can hear the waterfall. It is quite loud. Oh, hello. Oh! God, you dogs are not very friendly, are you? I'll try my bite my ass. Sons of bitches. Let's move this. In your own fucking time, Jill, in your own fucking time. One day we might get there. That will do. That should stay there. Okay. Let's go inside. Uh, now we got to prepare to fight Plant 42. There's no way we're doing the V Jolt option because that just takes a lot of time. I'm talking like a good 10 minutes. So we're not doing that option. I'm just gonna go straight up and try and kill Plant 42. Okay. Take the control room key. Yeah, why not? Why the fuck not? We also need the book though. Pass the book, pass the book. The book of love. Pass the book, pass the book. The book of love. Bow, bow, bow. I'm in a singing mood today. Yeah, shoddy shells. We've got 16 now. Brilliant. We've got the red book. We've got the red book. Okay. Down, 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 down. Okay, what do we have? We have... Explosive rounds. Save them for the snake battle. First aid spray too. Charlie good. Right, I'll put them away, put the crank away, and we'll put the first aid spray away. That should suffice. Okay. Now we're gonna have to uh, go and uh, meet some sharks. It's shark time. It's locked. Um, obviously, need the key to get in first. Bum, bum. Yeah, because the, the setup of the keys are different in the remake, so sometimes I can get confused between the two. Obviously, they're similar games, but you do completely different. Well, you do. The two similar games, and you, you do different things. 
but obviously because the games are similar, and some of the changes are not massively different. Like, the door that was locked, that would be the first place you need to go to in the remake. Um, so. And it wouldn't be locked at all. Just little small differences like that. Can end up confusing you. Okay. Anything in this room? Nope. I think there was a clip, but I'm not bothered about a clip. <laughs> if you use your bullets wisely on the standard mode, you don't really need the pistol. And so long as you're picking up some good shit on the way, don't try and kill everything in the game. Then you'll be fine. Okay, there is a ladder. Will you descend it? Well, yes, obvs. Obviously. Oh, I love this bed so fucking much. So fucking much. Okay. Time for a cup of tea. Skip about two minutes here, and then that'll be the end of the box pushing. Okay. Alright, box number one. Time for box number two. What I don't understand is, like... I mean, you can easily get across. You can, like, just jump in the water and swim across, but... Jill doesn't do that. <laughs> like, nor does Chris. It's just like... Why not? And if the idea was, well, I don't want to get wet, well... You're in for some bad news, because... Literally around the corner, you're going to have to get wet now. Time to get wet. Time to get wet. So actually, there's one thing I forgot to bring with me, and that's my knife. I was going to use the knife on the plant. Not a massive deal. This would have been my preferred option. Oh my god, it's sharky time. It's funny, because in the speedrun I did, um, the shark actually bit me. That's rarely ever happened to me. It's only happened, from what I can remember, twice now. In the, god, 50 plus playthroughs I've done of this, of this game. It was probably around the 100 mark. Getting close to the hundred mark. Okay. Press button. Will you push it? Of course. There was a sound from the room next door. There was a sound from the room next door. My friend Billy had a ten foot willy and he showed it to the girl next door. She thought it was a snake so she hit it with a rake and now it's only four foot four. Now it's only four foot four, four foot four. Yeah, plenty of shells. I'll be good to kill the plant with. 
37 shells, Jesus. I wasn't expecting to have that many. Okay, it's not going to be so bad then if I use the shotgun on the plant and leave the pistol bullets. We won't be needing them. Sharks! Sharky shark sharks! Sharky shark sharks! Shark shark a ruse! Yes, I will climb the ladder. Obviously, I'm going to do that. I'm not just going to go right up to the ladder and just look at it, admire its shine, and the dust on it, and the rust. Okay. Uh, it's nearly time to fight the plant. Let's get ready. Uh, I believe there's flame rounds in here, so I want them. Yes, there is. Get out of my way. Okay. Take the flame rounds? Yes, I'll take the flame rounds. Of course. Of course I fucking will. Okay. Yeah, the v jolt report. We don't want to read that. Uh, let's reload. Pop the book in. Okay, it's boss time. <laughs> 